Today, it's you, it's me, and it's a review of the Mouse Extreme Commuter Backpack. In this video, I'm gonna tear this bag apart so you can know whether or not this is the bag of your dreams. Impressive quick access. Clamshell access, fantastic hardware. It's a little bit weak sauce. They kind of feel a little flimsy. But if it's not, don't worry. You're gonna wanna stick around to the end of the video because I'll give you some alternative backpack recommendations that you might like better. But first things first, let's go to the review desk. Okay, let's kick off this review by talking about the gist of the Mouse Extreme Commuter Backpack. Mouse is a brand whose origins begin with their love for protecting your cell phone. They made these epic phone cases, some that we reviewed, and they had these commercials and like throwing them off buildings and stuff for the phone. Look, the phone's not broken. And what they did is they took that ethos of ultimate protection and brought it over to backpacks. This is actually our second Mouse Backpack review. We've We've also reviewed the Mouse Extreme Commuter with lid. This is sans lid, but there's also a pro lid version, which you can find in the description below. But in essence, everything about this bag is really kind of built around protection, but also while still having a decent feature set and a fair amount of quick access. Some of the top features. We've got 270 degree zip opening, which then gives you clamshell access to the main compartment a very well padded laptop compartment that features Mouse's signature air foam protection. Padding all throughout the bag, giving it sort of a hard shell feel, which again provides additional tech protection. A hidden back wallet pocket, a quick access side pocket, and much more. As of recording, all Mouse backpacks are available in one color option, black. As mentioned, this is the 18 liter version, which in my opinion is perfect for everyday carry, but it might be a little tight depending on how much gear you carry on a day-to-day -day basis. But I'm gonna pack out this bag throughout the entire review so you can get a pretty good idea of what it can fit. The dimensions are 17 inches tall, about 12 inches wide, and just under six inches deep. They're saying this bag weighs 1.87 pounds. Let's put that to the test. If it is, I will admit that I was wrong. Maybe, no way. All right, we got, all right, we got two scales. Scale numero uno, 2.6 LBS, but scale can always be wrong. That's why you gotta double check these things. Scale number two, 2.7 LBS. So yeah, on the website, the weight is definitely off. This is much closer to 2.6 or 2.7 pounds than it is 1.87 pounds or 850 grams. <laughs> What's with that? Because of its padding, the Mouse Extreme Commuter Backpack basically looks the same whether it's empty or full. Here it is fully packed out and worn on me, for reference I'm five foot eight. And here it is fully packed out and worn on our media manager, Margaret, who for reference is five foot two. All Mouse bags come with a limited lifetime warranty, which is 25 years against manufacturing defects. And for all that, this bag currently runs around 230 USD. And if at any point in this review, you're thinking to yourself, damn, that's one extreme bag and I'm one extreme dude. Let's, let's make this extremeness happen. And you're gonna make a purchase or you just wanna find out more information. We do ask that you do so using the first link in the description below. Reason being that link makes sure that you get the best price. And we oftentimes have discount codes, but that link also helps to support the Nomad Nation YouTube channel and team so we can keep making the best gear reviews on the web. Thank you very much. Okay, let's start by talking about the front of the Mouse Extreme commuter backpack. First up, let's chat about some materials. Fabrics, they're important, right? It's like the whole build of the bag. You're spending $230 on this thing, hypothetically. But one thing I don't appreciate about Mouse's landing page with this bag is there's just like a list of materials and it doesn't really say what goes where. But I'm pretty sure this primary material on the outside is what they list as a carbonated nylon. The carbonated part is just the finish that gives it kind of that shiny look, which also improves its weather resistance. And then on the sides, the back and the shoulder straps, Mouse seems to be utilizing a 500D nylon. They also have the word Kodra in their materials, but I, I don't know where, where that is. I know what Kodra is. I just don't, it's, it's, like, it's, it's like a nylon. I just don't know where it is. So a little confusing on that sense, but overall I feel like the materials plus these PU coated YKK zippers should equal pretty impressive weather resistance from the Mouse Extreme Commuter Backpack. Next up is branding. You got this metal logo right here with Mouse's, I don't know, like adolescent logo. It's kind of like Mouse. I don't know, what do you think? Could you have used a different placement or style with the logo? Are you cool with this? Let me know in the comments below. Moving on down from the logo, we have one, two, three, four small external lash points, and then one longer one. This longer one, you might be like, oh, it's a handle. And like, I guess anything that you can grab onto is a handle in theory. But all these are basically just like daisy chains that you can connect things to like a carabiner so you can carry things externally on your bag. And then finally, in the front, we have this top pocket right there, which I quite like. Reason being, A, it's protected with a YKK PU coated zipper. But B, when you get in there, kind of hard to see, but it uses a very nice microfiber anti-scratch material, which means it's an ideal location to store your sunglasses. Go ahead and pop them in there. Zip it closed, nice and safe. 
semi-accessible, but also due to the scratch-resistant properties of the fabric, it could be a good spot for your cell phone or any fragile tech gear as well. Okay, moving on, let's talk about the middle of the Mouse Extreme Commuter Backpack. It should be noted this is not a self-standing bag. The bottom comes on an angle, which is great because it looks sexier that way. It's less boxy, but then it's not gonna be able to stand. Keep that in mind. On the first side, we have a water bottle holder and a compression strap. I got a 17 ounce Lark water bottle and a one liter Yeti water bottle. As you can see, the 17 ounce Lark should fit no problemo. Pretty secure fit. And the one liter Yeti also fits mostly because of the help of this elastic band right there, right? Which allows the water bottle holder to expand. But keep in mind that over time, if you are carrying a very girthy water bottle, this expansion, I'm sorry, this elastic will kind of slowly die over time. But to help with that, Mouse gives you this compression strap right here, which you can kind of use to weave through the water bottle and connect on the other side, which definitely helps lock your water bottle into place. Also, this could be a nifty feature for any of y'all photographers out there. It can help keep the tripod in place. Bada bing, bada boom. Flipping on over, other side is pretty clean, minus this one quick access pocket, which I love. I love you, quick access pocket, because I love quick access. Does it possibly spawn from a serious problem of intense laziness, perhaps? But I don't like taking off my backpack and doing one of these things every time I wanna grab something. Sometimes I just wanna do a little swingaroo, a little unzippity zip, and grab the things that I need, like a cell phone or perhaps my keys. And one cool thing about this pocket is in the way back, you can see how this little loop right here, that'd be a great spot to clip a keychain onto or even a retractable key leash. So then your keys can stay there, you clip it into place, undo your door. I'm a huge fan of this pocket and quick access pockets in general. What about you? Is quick access really important to you in a backpack? Comments below, I wanna hear what you gotta say. Now let's get inside this main compartment. Now, like I said, this is a 270 degree zipper opening. And one cool thing about that, since we're on the topic, or just we're on the topic of quick access, is that you can do this. Yes, that's right, quick access amplified. Not only do you have the quick access side and back pockets, but the main compartment is also now accessible with this kind of an opening. And that accessibility is made easier with these two YKK PU coated zippers. I like these zipper pullers because they're very functional. You can do this with them. Are they the sexiest zipper pullers? Not, I, I don't think so. This is kind of cool and it gives you just a little bit extra, you know, leverage when you want to open the main compartment. Speaking of which, we are now in baby. And in here we have one, two mesh pockets and a third zippered mesh pocket on the back. So uh, let's go ahead and pack it out. I got some wires, battery, hard drive, notebook, headphones, tech pouch, some light reading, laptop charger, umbrella, and a sweater. Let's see if it all fits. It will. But it's one thing to keep in mind is like an 18 liter, you're not gonna be able to like deck it, deck it out, right? So I'm gonna throw hoodie, and tech pouch on the bottom, umbrella on the side. So some of these smaller tidbits of gear organized. In this mesh pocket, it should be noted too, we got this little guy right here, which is an air tag holder. Subtle, discreet, I don't have an air tag though. I'm just gonna throw my phone battery in there and a notebook. And then the other side, for these mesh pockets, they're kind of cool how they're done. There's no zipper axis, just kind of this pull axis. Hi. <laughs> What am I doing? Uh, it's too fun. Stop it, Aaron, concentrate. So I'm gonna throw the hard drive on the bottom, a couple of wires on the top. I like throwing wires in pockets like this because it keeps things organized. And you can see, zipping it up, getting pretty full, but I'm gonna throw the book on top and big old Sony headphones at the top top. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a well-packed EDC. For me, 18 liters, 17, 18 liters is like the perfect EDC size. It looks good, it feels good. It kind of challenges you to be like, do I really need to carry that today? Forced essentialism. But truth be told, carry trends are changing a lot and people kind of like bigger and bigger bags. Which is why for the bag that I'm making, we actually ended up going with a 22 liter version, even though it's an everyday carry. And yes, that's right. I'm not sure if you know, but this dude right here, I don't only review bags, but I'm actually taking on the challenge of building my own and documenting the entire experience right here on the Nomads Nation YouTube channel. So if you want to see what it takes to build a highly technical backpack from the ground up, and you want to help vote in some of the key features, be sure to check out the second link in the description below. That link will tell you more about the Building a Backpack project, where we currently are, and how you can get involved. I hope to see you in your inbox. Back to this guy. All right, let's talk about the back of the Mouse Extreme Commuter Backpack. It's kind of in the middle, but I'm gonna talk about the laptop compartment here, because it's in the back too. You know, this is the middle, that's the back. Just, you know, just go with me. As per the usual, this compartment is protected with a YKK PU coated zipper, which in my opinion is the most important YKK PU coated zipper to have because your laptop costs like two grand, you know? You want that thing protected. Same zipper pullers, dual zipper pullers, but one thing to know is that these zipper pullers, see that little hole right there? Hi. Is that they can lock, so you can go ahead and Pop a lock on there and keep your laptop extra, extra safe. Now let's talk about laptop compartments. Cause obviously 
you want your laptop protected. And the way that's done is usually with padding and some sort of false bottom. Now, Mouse claims that they use like their patented air foam tech protection. And I have no idea what the hell that means. But putting the laptop in here, I can say that the air foam feels very protective. How much more protective it is than like a normal laptop compartment? I cannot vouch for. But as you can see, my 13 inch laptop is in there. A little bit of room to spare. It should also be noted that on the mouse website, it says the 18 liter version of this backpack can accommodate up to 14 inch laptops. Overall, it's well padded, especially on this back panel, which I'm gonna talk about in just a second. Do we have a false bottom? Yeah, yeah, the laptop compartment stops right around here. So if you drop the bag, your laptop is less likely to get damaged. Overall, it's just, it's a really solid laptop compartment. Next up, we got the top handle. This little guy right here. Now, if you're looking for like a big old beefy top handle that you can grab and carry your backpack in tote mode for extended periods of time, this is not it. This is really more just like a hanging loop that you can, you can use to grab your bag with from time to time. It gets the job done, but it's not the best that I've ever seen. From there, let's discuss comfort. Actually, no, from there, let's discuss quick access. So you can see right here on the back, we have another quick access zipper. This zipper is about that big. See like my sound effects to accompany my measurements. And hidden back pockets like this are ideal for wallets, passports, maybe your cell phone. The good thing being that these pockets are against your back. So it's even more secure than like a pocket that's in the front, right? Because your back is kind of shielding it from potential threats. It's another awesome addition to this bag. I freaking love this pocket. All right, now we can talk about comfort. Comfort comes down to two things, back panel and shoulder straps. And on this bag, I love the back panel and I'm not as crazy, I don't think, about the shoulder straps. We won't know for sure until I test it in the outdoors in about 90 seconds, but let me tell you why. I like a good solid back panel with ventilation and you can see just how ventilated this back panel actually is. Each one of these are like a little cut, right? Which just promotes airflow. And the mesh on top of it gives it extra breathability. For the shoulder straps though, these just kind of feel a little loose to me. Personally, I just like structure of my shoulder straps. I like there to be like a little bit of like, you know, like, hey, we're here, you know, we're not going anywhere. We've got your back. But these just kind of feel like they're disintegrating a little bit. They're still comfy, but it just makes me wonder about their long-term durability. A couple quick notes before we actually put this bag on outside and wear it and test the comfort. We've got a magnetic sternum strap. Please protect your back. Pop the sternum strap in a place that redistributes the weight of the bag from your lower back, which is bad, to your torso, which is good. You can adjust the sternum strap to fit the size of your body. <laughs> your body. And then at the bottom, we have basic webbing buckles from Wujin. They make fantastic hardware. And thank you, Mouse, for providing this guy right here, AKA a web holder, AKA a dangle stopper, AKA Aaron's happy. Stop the dangle. And the final note is this guy right here, which is the luggage pass through holder. And if voila, I have a luggage which we can pass through the holder and see how this works. I think the best luggage pass-through holders are the ones that allow you to stand your bag vertically as opposed to this, which is horizontal. But as you can see, it's a very effective luggage pass-through holder as long as you don't mind it laying on its side like this. Nice and secure, strong. I'm not afraid it's gonna, you know, pop out. But, you know, the bag is on its side, which I think for this kind of a bag design, 270 degree zipper axis, it's not ideal, but it still works. Okay, Mouse Extreme Commuter Backpack, it's you, it's me. It's an outdoor comfort test, let's go. Okay, overall comfort for this bag, I'm actually pretty impressed. I'm pretty impressed with the bag as a whole, but the comfort is spot on, especially the back panel. I just love this back panel. It's got a robustness to it with a really impressive amount of ventilation. The shoulder straps, I mean, they're, they're good. They get the job done. I'm not as like thrilled about them. I prefer a little bit more structure in my shoulder straps. They kind of feel a little flimsy, but they're comfy. There's no doubt about that. Overall, at the price point, I'm pretty pleased with the comfort. Let's take it back to the office. It is time to nearly wrap up this review by talking about the overall pros and the overall cons of the Mouse Extreme Commuter Backpack. Overall pro number one, impressive quick access. Overall pro number two, pretty impressive weather resistance. And pro number three is that the padding does provide a lot of protection for your tech gear. But I have some cons as well. I'm gonna tell you what they are right now. Con number one, some people might want a little bit more organization when it comes to the main compartment. Con number two is the top handle. It's a little bit weak sauce. And con number three, the shoulder straps, I feel just could have had a bit more structure and or comfort to them. But if you're still here and you're thinking to yourself, you know what, I'm gonna buy it. Or I'm really thinking about it. Or I just wanna check it out. Just remember, we do ask that you do so using the first link in the description below. And just make sure you get the best price, helps support our channel, everyone wins, much appreciated. But you also might still be here because I did mention that I'd offer some alternative alternative recommendations for bags that might better suit your needs. Let's go back over to the backpack rack and talk about it. All right, so you're not quite sure you wanna see what else is on the market. Alternative recommendation, numero uno is going to be, where is it? This guy right here, the Nomadic Backpack. This is for you if you like that sort of hard shell bag, but you want more pockets, because that is what Nomadic does best, pockets galore. 
It's a very businessy bag, tons of features. We did a full review, which you can watch by checking out the description below. Still not sold, no problem. Alternative recommendation number two is gonna be this guy. Might look a little familiar. The Mouse Extreme Commuter Backpack with the lid. Pretty similar to the Extreme Commuter without the lid, but I'd say a, a bit more protective, a bit more feature heavy, and it's just got a different aesthetic and user experience with this top lid. We did a full review on this guy, which you can locate yonder down there in the description below. And alternative recommendation number three is gonna be this guy right here, which is the Peak Design Everyday Zip. It's got a similar design to the Mouse Extreme Commuter Bag, but just kind of a different take. It comes in different color options. It's really good for photographers. And to learn more about this bag, simply watch this review right here. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. I personally respond to every single one myself. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Aaron. This is Nomad's Nation, and we'll catch you next time.